Okay, the last part of setting up your blog is simply to select the theme that you want to use. Now, the theme uh, for WordPress is simply the, the design of the site. Uh, what you're looking at right here on how to set up WordPress.org uh, is the default uh, theme that comes with WordPress, at least uh, the, the recent version of WordPress as of this recording, which is 3.2. Um, if you go over in your control panel and click under Appearance and click on Themes, uh, you'll see that the active theme right now is called 2011 1.1 uh, and then the one that used to come with it in, in last year was called 2010 it just it looked a little bit different uh, 2011 the new one um, so there's a few places that I'd recommend that you go to uh, find a theme that you want to use first inside the control panel you can go to install themes and what this uh, will do is allow you to find a free theme right out of the WordPress database uh, so let, let's let's click on features and you can see a few here that look nice. Um, uh, you know, it, I'm not going to get try to find something that I really think the look and feel is uh, right now. But uh, let's see here. We'll hit, hit install. Hit activate. Okay, and now let's go back over here and refresh. And you'll see we got a completely new look and feel here on the blog. Um, so it's it's really easy. This is all free stuff. If you want to go to install themes again, you can you can search here. You can search based on different criteria, and you can find a whole lot of free themes now. Here's the thing, um, the free themes are great, and uh, if you're happy with one of them, that's fine. There are some premium themes out there, in fact, there's quite a few of them that are really, really good, and I actually recommend generally a premium theme over a free one, simply because being that they're paid, more time has been put into them, they operate better in more browsers, because you know sometimes the site will look a little bit different depending on if it's Internet Explorer being used, or Firefox, or Chrome, or something like that. So when you're paying for a product, generally that product is going to have had more time put into it. Not only that, a lot of these premium themes have a control panel just unique to the theme itself where you can actually choose options related to the design of your site whereas with the uh, these free themes typically that's not the case you pretty much what you see is what you get with a free theme if you want to modify you have to do it completely manually so the first one I'd recommend that you check out is a site called Elegant Themes. Now this is a really really great resource for some premium themes. Uh, if you click on their themes here you'll see a whole bunch of different themes here that are available. Uh, all of you know for different purposes. Some are for, for video sites, some are for magazine style sites, traditional blogs, uh, business sites. They have you know 11 pages of themes here. Now what I really like about this is that it's f affordable for everybody because this is right here. You get unlimited access to all our themes for $39. That's a that's a bargain, I'm telling you. A $39, you can basically pick and choose any theme that you want in their entire library here. And if you even if you install uh, new blogs later, I mean, let's say you're running 10 or 15 different blogs uh, someday down the road, well, you can use their themes, and it's all, it all comes out of that one uh, purchase for only $39. So Elegant Themes is one of my favorite resources for some really, really well-designed themes. Another one I want to bring to your attention is called Woo Themes. Uh, these guys are pretty well known. They've got some great, great stuff. Um, if you click on their themes, it's just like Elegant Themes in that they've got a lot of uh, different themes uh, that are pretty good quality stuff uh, for differing purposes. Now, their stuff is more expensive, but uh, but it's a, these are really, really well designed themes. Uh, you you can uh, get into their theme club. It looks like for 125 bucks, and basically use anything you want. And you can also just buy themes on a one-off fashion. Lastly, I want to mention uh, one called Headway. Now, here's the thing about Headway. There's a completely different. Um, 
type of theme out there for WordPress, and it's called a, a framework or a theme framework. Um, not to get too technical on you, but these themes are over and beyond, beyond the typical theme in that they have, it's basically like a whole other piece of software installed on top of WordPress, and these themes come with all kinds of stuff built in for you to modify the look and feel. Now, one of the beauties of Headway is that it's basically drag and drop. Um, it's a, basically once you install Headway, you can actually design your website while you're looking at your actual website, and you can actually drag things around, increase fonts, change colors, do all kinds of things without knowing any code at all. And that's one of the fantastic things about Headway. Now. I obviously, in order to go really, really, really nitty gritty and customize the heck out of Headway, you're still going to need to know a little bit of code. And there's a lot of resources online where you can learn that, and it's not that difficult. Don't let any person who charges for this stuff for a living try to talk you into the fact that this stuff is uber complicated. Now, that being said, it still might not be worth your time to get that heavily into customizing your own site, in which case and maybe it's worth it for you to pay somebody a few bucks to do it for you. But all that being said, with Headway, you can do a lot of stuff without knowing any code at all, which is fantastic. Um, and it's really, I mean, it's just a great what you see, what you get, as it says right here on the site, intuitive drag and drop layout creator. You're going to be amazed when you see what Headway can actually do. And they've got a video here on their homepage where it kind of gives you an idea of how that works. Um, the other frameworks out there um, are, are great in their own way, but this is the one that does the what you see, what you get editing that I think is just really fantastic. And um, I definitely recommend that you check that out. So anyway, at the end of the day, you're going to want to go out there and pick a theme that you think will work for you uh, with Headway. You can you you're buying this framework, and then you can you can mix and match and do whatever the heck you want with your blog, mostly without knowing any code at all. Or you could go with one of these professionally designed themes, uh, where they are modifiable, but not you know they don't have any drag and drop modification or anything like that. Um, so you might have to pay somebody to modify these professional themes if you need that done. They do have things in there for to easily replace the logo with your own and and change some colors and things like that but if you really want to go more detailed into customization you're going to need to get somebody to do it for you or do it yourself or you can go with one of the free themes which are great because the zero price tag is obviously great uh, that being said they come with uh, many limitations which is why so many people these days are using premium themes